So the Rainbow Six Siege Marketplace just had a very big update with UI changes, uh, new things have been added to the Marketplace as well, and a bunch of different items have changed in price. So there's a lot to uh, cover here, so I'm gonna get into that now. So the Marketplace UI just got a big update, and as you can see here, it has changed a fair bit. Uh, you can now see the current price range of what people are selling it for, and then also what it was last sold at, sale orders, all of that, it's all the same. But now if you click on an item, let's say Glacier for the R4C, and you scroll down, it actually has the sale price history for the last 30 days, and you can see what the changes are. You can see maybe if there's like a dip going down, so you, if you want to buy it, um, like obviously here someone sold it for an incredibly low price for some reason. But it's, it's really good, especially for different items that have slowly been going down in price, like Gold Dust. As you can see, Gold Dust started selling for about 19000 about one month ago. And recently, it's down to 18000 now 16000 So as you can see, the price for Gold Dust is going down. This update is really good as well because they actually added it for a lot more people. So a lot more people are coming onto the marketplace not knowing how to use it. And the reason that that's a good thing is because the people that don't know how to use it are gonna be buying skins for either too much or they're gonna be selling skins for a lot lower. So if I were you, if you have any skins that you wanna get but you don't have enough credits for, just make a bid anyway, you might get lucky. I've had some people that I know that have gotten skins for a lot lower price than what it's actually worth and that's because more people have been coming onto the marketplace. Another thing Siege has added is the event tab on the side, and they've actually added a lot of the older skins that came out with the first wave of the Doctor's Curse event. So you can actually buy these skins, so they're actually pretty reasonably priced, like this headgear that came out in the first slot is only 150. The same thing for all the other events as well. As you can see, there's all of these cool headgears and stuff, and they're all really low priced at the moment. So if you want to get anything, I think now is the time. A lot of people have just been added onto it, and the prices have crashed on a lot of different items. A good example of weapons going down in price is the P90. If I scroll down here, as you can see, it was selling for 280, 280 here, and then it just crashed, and it has been selling for no more than 200 in the past like two three weeks another weapon skin that has gone down in price is glaciers a lot of them have actually dropped significantly the r4c black ice is only fifty six thousand at the moment up here it says it sold for sixty six thousand nine hundred and ninety nine thirty days ago and for the past few days it has only been selling for around fifty five ish thousand which is a big difference compared to what it used to sell for same with the MP5, it has also go, gone down over time as well. It used to sell for when it first came out onto the marketplace, like 50, 40,000, and now it has dropped down to 30,000. So if you want to get any glaciers, they're actually not too badly priced now. Another thing Siege has added is the owned tabs. Now you can actually hide all of your owned items when you're going to go buy something which I really like. So now all of my owned items will not be showing up at all. Now there was a controversial thing that they added the last update, which was the charms for content creators. They've actually gone ahead and removed that. So if you go to charms and you sort by the highest, there is no charm for any content creator on here at all. It's all just the eSport teams and the six events and your regular charms. There's no charms for any other content creator on here now, which I think is awesome because it pretty much just ruined charms for all of the creators because no one would have to go to their Twitch to sub with their uh, Twitch Prime. All they had to do was go into the marketplace and just buy it for like dirt cheap. Another thing I'd like to add is the prices for Black Ices have dropped significantly. The Prices for a couple of them have stayed the same, like MP5 and the R4C, but majority of them have absolutely crashed. Well, like almost all of them are worth under 300. As you can see here, the main weapons that everyone uses are, you know, fairly priced, except there's only two over a thousand credits, which I find pretty crazy. Like if you scroll down here, there are some decent weapons here that are selling for pretty much just peanuts. So if you want to get any Black Ices, now is the chance because they are all selling for literally nothing, which is actually crazy because the amount of time it took me to get some just to sell them for like nothing 
is it's kind of annoying but it's good for if you like collecting them now they have actually added a couple skins i can't remember which of them they are except for one the one that i have here is this mythical cat skin for this gun here and as you can see if i go to the past 30 day history you can see that it was added on june 11th because there are no sale prices behind that because it was not on the marketplace another weird addition that they've added is if you go down to type on the left hand side and go to gadget skin it actually only shows the shield skins so if you want to be able to filter for just the shield skins what you got to do is this now another thing i'm not 100 percent sure on but if you go down here you can actually filter by esports teams and i'm pretty sure that all of the skins that are here aren't actually in the store on siege like when you load up the game and go to the esports tab i'm pretty sure these are all of the outdated ones ones that aren't on the game anymore you actually can only get them from the marketplace i believe that is the only way you can get some of these skins correct me if i'm wrong in the comments but if you want to get some of these skins that aren't on siege anymore some of them aren't cheap but they are pretty decent skins so that's just another addition as well Thank you for watching this video. If you do enjoy it, please watch this playlist here. If you want to have some good laughs, there's some pretty good videos in here. And make sure to like, comment, subscribe. See ya.